bless you to all of our viewers worldwide and welcome to another edition of the Harvest Reapers Walking as a God TV show. I am your host, the doctor, the life coach, Howard Akins Jr. Listen, we want to thank you all. We've been getting so uh, much powerful information uh, uh, from our listeners and viewers. Uh, again, I'd like to say thank you for watching in Pakistan. We love you guys over there. Thank you for watching in the Philippines. And uh, we're just so elated to have you guys uh, watching our shows over there. And as a matter of fact, in the Philippines, they're actually sharing our shows. So those of you in the United States, those of you in the UK, you know, we love you all and continue to watch our show. Listen, today is going to be a wonderful, awesome show. I have a, a awesome guest today and uh, none other than uh, my friend and uh, the ruling elder of the Harvest Reapers International School of Ministries. Uh, and I'll give you a little information about that. But I want to welcome to this edition uh, my friend, Dr. Isaiah Clay. How you doing today, sir? I'm doing fair. It's a great a privilege, and I thank God for being here. It's an honor. Well, I tell you what, you're looking good, and, and uh, we're going to get into some things this morning. And, uh, All right. But I just want to let them know uh, today, uh, because it Sorry. could be morning here, it could be evening somewhere else. Uh, but just give you a little information about the Harvest Reapers International School of Ministry. As a matter of fact, our producers are putting everything on the screen now, so go ahead and, and take that information down. But we have... In the South Florida area, we're in the South Florida area now. Uh, we're in the, uh, working with the Philippines. Uh, we're in the Miami, Florida. As a matter of fact, we're uh, opening up in Tallahassee, Florida. So we're doing a lot of work in Florida. And then we're spreading our wings over to Georgia and throughout the United States of America. But just in this area alone, Dr. Clay, we've graduated over a thousand yes, ministers. Sir. Uh, just in the South Florida area alone, That's right. and and That's and not only South Florida, but remember we graduated quite a few over in uh, I think it's uh, uh, Cape Haitian and Haiti. Haiti. That's uh, correct. So yes, yeah, sir. so our schools have expanded uh, overseas. So if you're looking for a good school, you want to come in. We got it. We have everything that you need. We have from your ministerial license. You say, well, hey, Dr. Akins, I want to become a minister. Well, Harvest Reapers is here for you. Uh, I want to become a pastor. Harvest Reapers is here for you. Uh, all the way up through our Christian Counselor uh, classes, you come in and we have about maybe seven different certifications, all crisis trauma, where you can get those Christian Counsel uh, license. This is live TV, you all. And uh, hey, it's just great to be here, man. Wonderful production. And I want to just give a shout out to our producers there. But uh, you can come in and get anything you need. Uh, your doctoral degrees, your bachelor's, uh, your master's, all the way up to your doctoral. Harvest Reapers is here for you. Also, I, I take my conferences, Walking as a God conference, all over the world. Uh, we're doing a tour uh, in October. We'll be in uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Uh, then we'll be in Stewart, Florida. Uh, then we're headed out to Tampa, Florida, Jacksonville, Florida. And then we're going to finish it with... Uh, Tallahassee. So if you need a good school, why don't you consider Harvest Reapers? And not only a good school, you may need a covering for your church. Uh, we have quite a few churches coming up, Dr. Clay. Uh, and if you need a covering, you need to give us a call today. But anyway, I just want to say thanks again, Dr. Clay, for being on the on the broadcast. Dr. Clay is one of our uh, ruling elders in the South Florida area, and he's the one that does the training on discipline uh, in order uh, he teaches our students how to do weddings and funerals and all of that good stuff that you're going to need to know how to do. Uh, Dr. Clay, again, I'd like to thank you for being on the show. And, uh, man, I just want to ask you, how, how are you so good at what you do? Well, uh, um, um, Apostle, it comes from, uh, I suppose it's probably got in my blood, my father, my mother. Uh, I'm a... Um, I'm a church baby. I was born, raised in the church, went off for a while and did my own thing, but uh, couldn't get away from this. It's, it's, it's in my blood, and uh, thank God for that. And uh, um, when I met this gentleman, Dr. Akins, oh man, he called me and said, uh, Dr. Clay, he said, Lord, say you're one of my teachers. And he had to prove it to me. But I've been here from the beginning, and I thank God. And it's going to take two tractor trailers and an angel 
<laughs> to pull me away from you. And I want to say something uh, encouraging to the listeners now. If you were speaking of the ministry. You mean these people? You you mean all of these people here? Yes, sir. These, these wonderful people these here. These wonderful people that <laughs> listen. I want to give you a word of encouragement. Uh, now he was speaking of how uh, you can go anywhere you want to go. We've had quite a few. Uh, as he was saying, we had, when we did the uh, classes in Haiti, we had, what, two, three churches that were immediately established from that ministry in Haiti. Uh, and we have established and, and put into churches many ministers here in the South Florida area. I remember one young lady graduated the class and she asked us to come over and install her into her ministry. She had, what, about eight or ten men members when we installed so It's been about 18 months ago yeah, now. Yeah, as a matter, of, is, fact, as a, yeah. As a matter of fact, uh, I was supposed to have a meeting with yeah. her uh -huh. where uh, she went through some ups and downs right. with her health. And, yes, and uh, we're going to be really giving her uh, church a hand and pulling them back together. Yes, sir. Uh, but, yeah. but absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. She moved in into the Atlanta Georgia area, and she's running a ministry up there now that's uh, entertaining two, three thousand members every week. So if you want, this is the place to start. This is the people that all our job is, is to help you and push you forward. That's what we love to do. That's what God has called us to do, and we are doing a great job of it. You're doing a great job of it. Well, I, I tell you what, uh, Dr. Clay, I want to say again, thanks to you and, uh, and uh, to all of our wonderful staff. Uh, when you talk about Harvest Reapers, you talk about uh, Dr. Isaiah Clay. Uh, you talk about uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Eunice Davis. You talk about uh, Dr. Oscar Bistinoff. You talk about uh, the Reverend Chappelle Cooper. Uh, who else do we have? You talk about, uh, oh man, it's just so, so many. It, it, you know, we just have a wonderful staff. And what I like about it, Dr. Clay, is Harvest Reapers is not about Harvest Reapers. That's right. Harvest Reapers is about the people yes, sir. Uh, yes, that sir. come into Harvest Reapers. Yes, sir. Our job is to yes, uh, watch you become successful in yes. what you do. Listen, if, if you're not successful by coming through Harvest Reapers, we then haven't we're, done our we're, job. we haven't done our job. We're not yes, successful. Sir. And so when we see people go out and actually take the teaching uh, and take the knowledge and go out and do what God calls them to do, then our work is done. Yes, sir. But, but what I like about you, Dr. Clay, is because you do understand that we're in a society now uh, especially in the church. The church is a whole different world to itself. It, it really is. Yes, sir. Uh, but yes, what sir. we're finding out, a lot of these ministers are coming out, and you can tell through their preaching, uh, you can tell through their, their character, and then just their everyday walks of life that they had no discipline and, and no training. I mean, some of them don't even know how to do a good wedding, and, and when they come through your training, man, they if they would take the training and take the knowledge, they will make fine ministers, Elder, and we thank you for that, man. You're doing a you're doing an awesome job. You you know what 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 would you say to this person uh, that that doesn't have the discipline, that doesn't have the order? You're out there preaching, you're out there ministering, you're out there saying that you're a pastor, you're out there saying that you're an apostle, and and there's many are saying that they're the apostles and they're uh, uh, prophets and there's pastors and you know they have the titles but then they don't have the works that goes with it so what do you say to people that uh, that don't have the training and they, they're just out of order well uh, this is what I'll say I, I am an auto mechanic by profession this is what I do for a living I've been doing that since I was a young man young boy and what I found out real early in doing auto repairs there are certain things that has to be put in certain places as far as I mean now now they got all the cars where they the motors run electronically but when I started you had to put an individual wire from one place to each spark plug and some of these cylinders had eight cylinders on each car and you had to put each wire exactly where it went. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't, 
the car would sometimes start, but it wouldn't have any power. It wouldn't go anywhere. And so the, the Christian life and ministry is the same way. Certain things you just have to put it in order. Absolutely. It, I mean, and the whole world is like that. You, we, we're using credit cards now. In some places now, you can't use cash. All they take is cards. Mm -hmm. But now, if you go in there and you put your card in that slot, it asks you for your PIN number. You can put the right number, mm -hmm. Pastor, mm -hmm. but if it's out of order, it's not going to work. It's rejected. Right. right and that's right. why many ministries been out there 10, 15 years. They started off with two members and now they got three in 10 years because they just got things out of order. Right. And when you get anything, anything, a tricycle, a bicycle, a row set of roller skates, anything that you have, cooking, mm -hmm. anything that you have, when you get it in order, it works so beautiful. When you get it out of order, it's a disaster. It just don't go. Amen. And so, you know what, I'm, I'm glad you brought that point up because uh, you know, I'll be dealing with that probably in my next week's uh, segment when I'll be talking about order and discipline. Uh, it, it seems to be, uh, especially in the in the United States of America, uh, it, it seems to be when you're dealing with the church, uh, it's it's a free for all. Awesome. That's where that's where that's where. See now, that's where the juicy part comes in because I found, especially with evangelical. Uh, uh, Christians, we believe that if we just get an unction from the Spirit, you know, if we are up preaching or talking and go, oh, I felt the Spirit then, uh -huh. we believe that's all we need. Wow. Well, we, we think, hey, the Spirit touched me. I laid hands on somebody last week uh -huh. and they got healed. I'm fine. And that's how we take it and we go with it. Right, absolutely. You know, yeah. just because you get in your car and turn the ignition on and your radio plays, that doesn't mean you can drive it to Publix. <laughs> you need to have that engine tuned up <laughs> and so often you change that oil. Absolutely. And you're going to have to put tires on if you want to keep going to public. That's absolutely. Just because the radio plays loud doesn't mean your car is all right. That's right. So, you know, so in a nutshell, what are you saying is uh, just because you have titled yourself yeah. a pastor or you, you title yourself preach good. A, you can preach good. Yeah. Let me tell you something. You, you got these young uh, and I won't say this like this. Here. Now, I don't want to offend anybody. Hey, but it is what it is, man. This is, what it this is. is walking as a God Harvest Reapers TV show. Hey, man, we on we on we on the best uh, uh, production uh, program of all, man. Musgrove Music TV, baby, is just number one. I'm telling you like that. So, uh, but after saying all of that, man, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> but it, anyway, it is what it is. It's what it is. You know you what I'm saying? Order. You got to have some you order. You got to have some discipline. Right. And, and listen, it's about the word of God. And I'm seeing even these young people, uh, when they come into the church, they actually want to be changed. But when they come into the church and they can't figure out if it's a, if it's a club or a church right. uh, song or whatever it is, then their minds get confused. Yes. And then they go back into what they're used to. Uh -huh. You know, so uh, Dr. Clay, I think, Harvest Reapers is a great place to start. You know, a lot of people come down on me. I'm going to tell you, you know, I'm just going to be open. I get a lot of flack. You know, hey, well, you don't like the, uh, you don't like the, this one. You don't like this minister. Uh, you don't like the women apostles. You don't like the women bishops. You don't like the men apostles. Well, no, me, that's me, not me, what, me hook you that, right there. That, that's not what Harvest Reapers let, is let, all let me about. Help you right, let me help you right, right in there. <laughs> I, 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 let me help you right in there. Bad advertisement is still advertisement. Now go ahead. 
Listen, when, when you come in the harvest, when, when somebody yeah. says something bad, yeah. they, at least and they call your name, <laughs> they have advertised you. So, so that's well, it. Well, I tell you what, Jesus said this. Uh, this is what Jesus said. Now I'm talking about this. Is what Jesus said. He said to the disciples. He said, "Listen, fellas." What are they saying about me? Yes. You know, we, uh, and you know, you and right I know, sir. he already knew. Right, and, and then I believe it's Peter say, well, look, you really don't want to hear this. Because what they're saying <laughs> about you is not good. Not good. And, and so, you know, some call him. He didn't him a, change a thing. No, he didn't change it. Some said he was a wine beer. Right, some said that he was a, a drunk. Some said that he was, a, uh -huh. uh, you know, had a relationship with the, with Mary because she washed his feet with her hand. And all of this. Yeah. So, so the bottom line, it doesn't matter what people say, and you have to come in and find out for yourself. Yeah. See, you know, you know, I don't listen to what people say about another person. You know, you find out that person for yourself. And I guarantee you, Dr. Clay, when they come in the Harvest Reapers, you're going to find out, or they're going to find out that Harvest Reapers is one of the best things going today. When you come out, you're going to come out with some true knowledge of what the church is all about. You know what, Pastor? You know what? You know what, Doc? Let me say this right here. You, you, you're not going to hear too many people preach this. Jesus spent 30 years of his life. Now, when he was 12, he got, well, don't let me say Jesus got <laughs> up the Lord. Don't let me say that. But he felt, he knew, listen, he felt you're that all the time. You're on TV. Now. All right, I'm on TV. Listen, he you, felt, you're on the right, right, right. Let, me, let, me fix it. Let, me, let me fix it. <laughs> he felt the unction of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> and the Holy Spirit. And he went in the temple and he went to preaching at 12. 12 years old. Yeah. But then from there, for the next 18 years, you never hear a word about him. What are you saying, Brother Clay? I'm glad you asked. Jesus spent 30 years uh -huh. preparing himself for a three-year ministry. That's the reason the three years changed the world. You can change the world, your world, if you spend time preparing and making sure you have it right. You know what, Dr. Clay? Uh, you know what? Let me tell you something. Next week, I'm going to have you to come back <laughs> and we, we're going to do a show because, look, you know, I'm liking this flow right here. You know, we got to deal with some of these things, th these things that are in the church with the Apostle Paul said. Uh, it should not be. We're talking about That's isms. Right. We, we're talking about schisms yes, and, and every other yes, kind sir. of uh, rhythm uh, that is in the church. Yes, you know? sir. And, and, and somebody have to, somebody should or must stand up and say something. The church has an order to, you talked about Jesus, and, and it, this just hit me here. Uh, uh, it just a light turned on. You talk about Jesus started his ministry at 12 years old. The number 12 is the, is the number of government, and when it comes to the church, it's the number of apostolic order or yes, apostolic sir. government in the church. Now watch this. Yes, sir. Number 12 is so powerful. God yes, is sir. so strong uh, uh, with this order that 12, 12, there are 12 universal laws that govern the universe. Yes, sir. 12. 12. And then he comes down, there were 12 yes, uh, tri tribes of Israel. 12 uh, jurors uh, on the panel. 12 jurors on the panel, yes, sir. <laughs> and then you have the 12, uh, 12 yes, disciples, sir. then you have the 12 apostles, and then you have the 12 apostles that are going to be coming back with Jesus, right, and then you're going into Revelation, you're talking about the, 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 the 12, the 144,000, which is, 12. Is, which is, 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 is 12, 144,000, right. I think it's a, a 12,000 out of each uh, tribe, right, which sir. is 144,000, okay. which goes to show you that God is so keen on this order, and we need to have order in God's church. Yes, sir. When you come to Harvest Reapers, when you come to Harvest Reapers, and you go through our ministerial school, by God, you're going to know how to do that funeral correctly. You're going to learn how to do that wedding correctly. You're going to know how to preach a sermon and put these things together correctly. I've seen preachers preaching and they're all over the place and nobody can get anything out of what you said. Listen, friend, Harvest Reapers International School of Ministry is the school for you. You see it on the screen. Go ahead and, 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 go, and go ahead and look at that website. Go ahead and call the number. And we have 
Dr. Clay here, Isaiah Clay, is one of our outstanding elders, and he will not slack on nothing of giving you the best training that you can possibly have. Am I right about that? You're right, Pastor. Let, 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 let me say this right here. Now, now. You know you got uh, to come back. Next week you're on. I got to have you back, sir. You know that. All right, sir. <laughs> you, 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 my, you my head. By the way, you look good on TV, Doc. Well, thank you, sir. <laughs> you know my wife thinks so. <laughs> Amen. Now, as, as training and order, listen. After Jesus had endured the cross and risen and went back to glory to the Father, the apostles went out and began to preach and, and saturate the world with the gospel. They ran into some people. You don't hear too many preachers going to preach this. You don't hear too many preachers. I bet you it's been five years since you heard anybody take this for a test. Okay, okay. These apostles of Christ, they ran into some people that were out there preaching. Mm -hmm. And they had started little ranky dank churches. Little what? Oh, Lord, I shouldn't see y'all. I'm on national. Please forgive me. They had started these little. Uh, come on, Elder. I'll be mean, looking. They had started these little churches that, these were, little not, offs. that were not producing. Thought they had no power. Right, right, right. They had right. churches. They had preaching. They had been around Jesus early. Uh huh. But these people had not stayed there to receive the, the, the full training and the full uh, impartment of the power mm -hmm. from Jesus. Mm -hmm. So that churches that they were doing, they were honest and they were serious mm -hmm. about what they were doing. But they were seriously understated. They were seriously out of order. Right, right. And right. the apostles step to him and says, something is wrong here. And and they say, oh, we know what's wrong. You didn't stay there long enough to get everything that you needed. Mm -hmm. They say, first of all, have you heard, have you guys got the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost in your church? Mm -hmm. They said, who? Have you Holy, received since yeah, you believe? Yeah. Holy Spirit, Holy right. Ghost. Who is he? Right. What is that? And that is what is going on. That's why churches are not growing. No That's power. why you've been you've been up, you've been holding church now for 13 years. I'm going to go. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm, I haven't been to enough of them. I know what I'm talking about. Absolutely. And you got three members. Yeah, I right. done went to enough churches and <laughs> priest people invited me and they got three members. And I don't I, see where it makes any really but, it and don't make sense. because you did not stay right. My dad was a farmer. Certain plants, you could pull them up. When they got to a certain age, we would plant a whole seed bed. Absolutely. And and, and when those plants came up to a certain age. We would take them up and plant them around in different places, but we still put them, they still stayed right there on the farm. Right, right, right. right and we right. raised them up and they produced fruit. On the farm. On the farm. <laughs> they didn't go to another place. They didn't go somewhere else. They were and, and so the, the peppers, <laughs> when we planted the pepper seed, and then when they got up big enough and we planted them on the pepper in the pepper patch, they didn't, the pepper plant didn't say, you know what? I'm not a pepper. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a squash and got up and left and said I'm on I'm on y'all don't want me to be a, a pepper or a squash over here. Uh, so I'm on y'all want me to be a yeah, pepper. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna get yeah. up and go over here and I'm gonna be a squash. Yeah, yeah. So you know it, it sounds comical, but but it's it's but reality. It, it's reality, and you know and what? That's what's happening. And that's what's happening, and you know what, Dr. Clay, I want to say. Uh, there's a lot of what you call independency. You understand? And, and, and there's, and there's no a lot of animal in Christ. There's no sense. 
because the church was not uh, designed to be so-called independent. independent. When, when, when the church was designed, it started through with those 12, and then even when they would go out, they sent them out two by two. Right, and, right. And, and, and the church that the apostles started, they started, there were churches in different cities and different countries, different places, but they were still under that same apostolic umbrella. Correct. So what I'm saying is, if, if you, a lot of churches, because you're not connected uh, to the right source or connected to the leader, you're just out there on your own because you don't want anybody to tell you anything. anything. Uh, you don't want to listen to anybody. Uh, you have no no headship. You have nobody that you are accountable to, uh, but you want to be accountable for. And so you're out there all by yourself. Right. And that is not how Dr. Clay, the church is designed. That's right. And, and, and that's why some of, it's not working for some people because they don't understand. You need to get under some good leadership. You know, myself, uh, I, I'm, I'm privileged to be the CEO, uh, the, uh, the chief apostle of the Harvest Reapers movement, but I am accountable. I have an overseer. You even come to me sometimes and say, Dr. Clay, what you think about this? Yeah, yeah. But I, I, you know, I'm accountable to you. I'm accountable to other uh, my other staff. But uh, but more than that, I'm accountable to uh, Dr. Paul in, uh, yes, in uh, West Virginia. I mean, under the, the, the full uh, fellowship of gospel of, of Christ churches. Yes, I mean, sir. so we're not out here as lone rangers. We're, Harvest Reapers is not just independent. That's right. That's right. You, you know, sure, we got the, we got the number right. one school, and I'm going to say it's not... It's second to none. Second to none. Second to none because the teaching you get and the training you get, I'm so proud of Harvest Reapers. But yes, we sir. are certainly not long rangers. If I'm talking Absolutely to you not. and you're a long ranger, you're Absolutely so independent not. that you're out there by yourself, yourself, then consider Harvest Reapers. That's all I'm saying. You know, I'm not saying that, hey, you know, come under Harvest Reapers, but you need to be accountable to somebody. You really need that so that you can pull your church together and begin to grow. Uh, Rev, I know that we're, we're, pr we're pretty much getting down to the wire here. I, I, I just got a feeling that it's real close. We got one minute. Just, uh, I tell you what, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. All right. And uh, I'm going to have you back on the show, uh, Dr. Clay, because this has just been real good, my friend. You know I, what? This, this you know has just been me, real good, my let friend. Let me say one thing. You better if say you, it quick. If you find rolling. yourself out there on a road and you the only car on that road, there's nothing down there where you going. Well, I tell you what, listen, it's been a good show. <laughs> we'll be back with the Dr. Isaiah Clay next week. Well, bye. Are you tired of fear attempts at dieting? Don't you wish you had more energy? Are aches and pains slowing you down? Now is the time to give Nucentra a try. Nucentra products are made from natural ingredients formulated to heal the body from inside out. Our products are held to the highest standards of quality and provide 100% daily vitamins and nutrients for all. Go ahead now to turn back that aging clock. Try New Centrals today. Brenda Solomon, New Central representative and success story. Yes, they nailed them to a cross.